When my father was a young man, I don't really know what age he was, his father bought a farm up in Westchester County, even though they lived in Manhattan. He wanted to have a farm and have some real estate, and so he bought a farm, and it didn't have any animals on it. And one of the ways he decided to uh, start having some animals was he went to the uh, uh, New York Police Department auction of their older horses and uh, bought a horse. And in Lower Manhattan. And then the problem was that he hadn't apparently really figured out in advance, or at least he hadn't told my father, was how was he going to get the horse up to this new farm in Westchester County, north of New York? Well, he gave my father the job. And this was back in probably 1920, 25, sometime like that, when my father was in college, I think in college, maybe as young as high school. His father bought the horse? Yeah, my grandfather, his father, bought the horse, one horse, and a saddle and a bridle and the whole works, and gave my father the assignment of riding this horse through Manhattan. Well, Manhattan was quite different in those days. Uh, you could ride through Central Park, of course, for several miles and it was largely undeveloped north of that uh, until you got to the Bronx River and then you had to go across a bridge of the Bronx River and through the Bronx, which is one of the five boroughs of metropolitan New York, and then um, continue. And I don't know. The part of the story I'm not clear on is whether he spent the night along the way. I think he, I think there was some friend of my grandfather's who had a home and a barn and everything and I think my father stayed with him overnight in the way because I don't think he could ride in one day as far as that really was. It was probably 40, 40 miles and I think he could ride about 20 miles a day maybe at the most. So I think he stayed there. And one thing that amazed, sort of surprised me as a as a, a child was he described this older horse as being kind of older, <laughs> slow, until it, he got near the barn and I got only he smelled the uh, the uh, uh, food in the barn, the hay or what it was, but he said he just took off running and he couldn't stop him. <laughs> And ran right up the ran right up the ramp into the barn. And my father had to duck his head so he'd get underneath and not slam him off the horse and oh went right into the barn and then the horse was finished for the day. He'd gone as far as he was he was gonna go. And so they fed him and watered him and took the saddle off and everything and uh, spent the night. And I th- I think my father may have slept in the barn in the hay, hayloft, uh, and then got up the next day and after breakfast going on with the horse the rest of the way. But it was, my father was a great storyteller, and I wish I could remember more of the stories he told me. If I focused and concentrated or someone asked me the right question, I probably would remember other stories.